Well, authorities in Bangladesh are still searching for bodies two weeks after a clothing factory collapsed. Over 900 people have been confirmed dead and more than 2,500 people were injured. The disaster put a spotlight on worker safety in developing countries, especially those producing products for Canadian companies. The women behind Tamashat Natural Textiles have made it their business to source materials fairly from the people who produce them. Ellen Agar joins us this morning to talk a little bit about Tamashat and a big event that you guys have going on this weekend. And nice to meet you and thanks so much for coming in. Thanks. You have Great some beautiful be here. products here, and these are all fairly traded products. Tell me a little bit about, first of all, what we have here. Okay. First of all, I have to introduce my collection of elephants. I these, love are these. these are so cute. fabulous handmade elephants, not made in a sweatshop, made by many hands in northeastern Thailand. And these are uh, hand made from handwoven cloth, dyed with natural dyes. Perfect. So, so they're going to be safe for the kiddos, too. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Very popular. Very good. And all of our products are made by women's weaving groups in Thailand and Laos and uh, Burma this year for the first time as well, such as these small pouches. And we work directly with women's weaving cooperatives, with social enterprises and family groups. What kind of a difference does this mean to the women who are making these products? This is extremely important for particularly the women in Burma and in Laos because this is their income. Most of the women we work with are farmers first and they also use the textile production as a secondary income, although some of them use it as their primary income. So this allows them to afford health care and education for their children. Wow. So it's very important. For their children. And we are joining together this weekend in Halifax with four other fair trade businesses, Nova Scotia based businesses. And we are holding a very exciting event for the second time a fair trade bazaar in a Nova Scotia built yurt, which is a big, big round tent They're amazing. from Central Asia. So rain or shine, because okay. we're expecting rain, unfortunately, yes, this we weekend, are. we will all be dry inside together. So people can just come by, get information, and buy yes. products as well? Yes, absolutely. And the Canadian Fair Trade Network will be there with some information as well. And we are all very interested in making a connection between the consumer and the makers. So we have many, many stories to tell about the making. For example, this bag here is netted in a fishnet style. It's beautiful. And it is from northern Laos. And it's made from, in English, what we call jungle vine. It's a wild-crafted vine from the jungle in this area of northern Laos. So we, we have a wide variety of products that showcase the talents and skills and support the communities, the families, the environment, and the traditions in these regions. How did you get involved in this? You seem to be very passionate about this. I am. I am. I um, kind of stumbled upon this work because when I traveled with my partner, Allison, who used to live in Thailand, we met a women's weaving cooperative, and they had no one selling in Canada for them. So that's how it began. And we have now kind of brought the loop home. These two jackets on the front of the table are made in Nova Scotia by a dressmaker, Teresa Eagles, whom we work very closely with. And she crafts these one-of-a-kind jackets, also the one I have on, Beautiful. made from hand-spun organic cotton, dyed with indigo. Wow. And our fabrics are fairly traded, and then the jackets are created locally. So again, we're trying to put more money into women's hands. Sounds good. I wish you had more time to talk. Tell people one more time how they can get involved this weekend. It's in Victoria Park. From what time? From 10 to 5, celebrating World Fair Trade Day on Saturday. And it's also Open City Day, a time to explore Halifax. Very good. And Sunday, Mother's Day. Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for bringing some beautiful you. products. And we know that they're good for us and they go towards a fantastic.